Today we are going to use a completely different method. A method where we will be able to access our device and we will be able to recover it easily and quickly. Um, in this video tutorial, since we're not going to use a PC, it is a completely different method than the previous one. Uh, we also have other methods in the video description and in the first pinned comment. We have several methods, both PC-based and PC-free. What happened to this device? Our device had a screen lock end. What we did was reset our phone. At the time our phone started up successfully. We can see that it has this little padlock on the left side, top part. And now it has a screen lock which is the same. Who also had an additional account with the Google account. With the Gmail account forgotten, so that we can recover this device. We're going to make the following configurations. We're going to use a different method. An updated method since there are many functions. And many devices have been updated to the latest version. If that's your case, I recommend you watch this video tutorial. Step by step, without skipping ahead, so you don't get lost. No details and you can solve this problem with your device. Let's connect to our Wi-Fi network. Let's give it that tour. Previously we could access it from here using Motorola. Motorola Privacy, Motorola. We would go to the last option. We would click on the last option. We clicked here where it says Motorola.com support and from. We would go to Motorola and access our device there. But as these devices have already been evolving, they've been updating, so now it won't let us in at all. But we are always updating our method so that we can to solve these problems with these devices in an easy and quick way. The only thing I always recommend is to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial so you don't get lost. No details and you can solve what this recovery of your device is. Okay, with that said, let's click where it says accept and continue. To be able to access our, uh, our screen lock. Also, what is a Google account? That was the first thing we had to deal with. If we change that screen lock, we forgot about the screen lock and what we did was reset our phone. The time we reset our phone is now. With this same and additional block that we were left with the same. We are now stuck with the option that says, use my Google account. Let's click here where it says, use my Google account for those. People who suddenly forgot their screen lock, but. Do you remember that Google account? You can add it here. Just click next. Add that password and from there it will give you access to be able to access your device without needing to watch the entire video tutorial. You do this, but let's say you forgot that email that you don't remember either. If you have the phone number you added in, you can add the email here, then click next on the number. You will receive a verification code. This verification code, uh, well, you have to have it in another phone because you won't receive that code here because our device is completely blocked. Having said all that, if you don't have either of these two options, so what you're going to do is click here where it says forget Gmail. You're going to write anything here, and you're also going to do the same thing up here. Down below too, we'll do the same thing in about a minute and a half. When these minutes and a half have passed, I will explain what we are going to do. Because this function that we are doing here would help us. To enable a function that we will use more. Ahead that would give us direct access to our device. Another thing I also want to mention is that when we let's fully recover our phone, we always end up with some 
errors, because it's normal that we have some errors left because we are using several methods to access our device. How do we correct these errors at the end of the video? I'll be explaining how to fix it because it really the screen will end up not rolling correctly. It gets stuck or something, and I'll explain it to you. How will you be able to solve it in an easy and quick way? Okay, having said that, then what we're going to use? To access this video tutorial, follow these steps. We're going to use a keyboard and an OTG cable. If you don't have an OTG adapter, you can use a mouse. This is a mouse to also perform the same process. We're going to remove the SIM tray and wheel to insert a SIM card locked with a PIN code. This is so we can access our device. Since these devices have been updated and now allow us to enter, we're going to give it to you here in an emergency call. We're going to connect the OTG here. This would take us to this section. We'll explain what we We'll do what we need to do to access our device. First, let's dial our number. Let's go to our emergency number. We'll wait for Google Maps to come out because sometimes the first options take a while. Now we're going to do it a second time. We're going to dial the emergency number according to your country and we're going to select the enter key. We're going to press the enter key. Here it is. Press the enter key until your device grants you access to this feature. Let's press the enter key. Here we can see it entered. Now it's in. We're going to remove. We're going to remove all of this now. Now. We have already entered our device into Google Maps. What we are going to do now is remove the cars. Now that we've entered Google Maps, we no longer need this SIM card. We're going to remove it. We'll remove it. Now we hold it here. We turn off the screen. We turn it on. We hold it here so that it gives us access. Okay. We click here. We just click once. Now we're going to click here on skip wheel. Let's give here. Let's jump here. Let's do all. For the rest of the function, we're going to click here on this little ball that appears here. We click on the little ball. We click here on settings. Let's click here on notifications. We'll enable these notifications. We'll give you all the permits. We'll turn back. We're back in. They're enabled now. Click here where it says location, then click OK. Click here in settings, enable this option. You go back and then you're going to give it to him. Click here for Google location settings. You're going to click here where it says all, you're going to click on the three dots. You are now going to select show system. Here we can see that we already have Google services. Now that we have this option, we're going to click here on this. Lupita, which has already been enabled for us, we are going to write accessibility. Let's delete it. Oh, well, here it is. Let's click on accessibility. Accessibility menu, we select. Let's select it. Give it all those permissions and go back. Go back, erase, and now we're going to write battery here we will see battery usage for the apps we click on the one we're selecting here we click on app battery usage now we're going to select the option shown here it's automatically being pointed out to us we select that one now we're going to descend gently and we'll arrive this is as far as the google play services appear Let's select it, then we'll click on Disable. Disable, I mean, sorry, then let's enable all that. What we're going to do now is restart our phone. Let's restart it. When our phone completely restarts, we are going to complete the recovery process. 
That's why it's always recommended, huh? If you want to recover your device, we recommend watching the video tutorial step by step to the end so you don't miss any details and can solve it. What is the problem with this device? Another thing I want to tell you is that in the description of the video and in the first pinned comment we have several methods. PC method and PC free method so that you want for people who want to try other methods. They can do this by referring to this description or in the first pinned comment. Now that our device has restarted successfully, we're going to click on it. Here where it says accept and continue, we'll wait until it will take us to where the option to search for updates appears, we'll get there. Up to that point. We wait a few more seconds. We'll wait for you. As I told you from the beginning of the video, when we've already recovered our phone completely, but there are still a few errors left. What are these errors that cause the application to stop and continue to fail? All of that, then, is to be able to give it a final go and complete this process. I recommend that at the end of the video I will be explaining how you're going to correct all those mistakes. I'll tell you at the end of the video. Let's wait here for a few seconds. You see that more than a minute passes and it takes us to the skip option. If this option to skip takes us here, it gave us, we'll go. The option to copy was here. It says not to copy. Now we're left with the title. The screen here where it says, searching for updates, is where. I wanted to get to the point where we've reached this point, so what are we going to do now? It's about taking us back, we click back now. We need to enable Google services. We're going to click here. Let's click on these three dots here to see if it takes us to this. Option we were using, it doesn't seem so, it's getting us nowhere, huh, well. Given this, we're going to click here where it says accessibility. Let's enable this magnifying glass that appears here. Let's write battery battery let's erase. Letter by letter until the battery enables us. We selected battery usage here. The apps, let's select the same option we told you about. The one that is automatically selected for us, that's the one we will be selecting. Now what we're going to do is go up. We're going to scroll down to find the Google Play services. Here they appear. Let's select it. We'll click here to enable it. Now that it is fully enabled, what we're going to do is turn back. Backwards and backwards, again backwards. Backwards, and here, as we said, remove the SIM card. We're going to click here where it says, continue offline. We click accept and continue, which will take us to Google Play services. As we had told him our phone number when, even after taking it to the beginning, we still have some errors. I'll explain how we correct these errors at the end of the video. We give it more, more, we click accept. Now we're going to click, jump, here. We're going to click, jump. We'll give it now where they say not now, not now, not now and not now. We'll click, next, here now. We'll be finalizing the process. What were the mistakes I had made? I'll explain what these errors are, as I've already mentioned. You can't see all these errors here. These are just errors that we get. If you can see that the screen isn't scrolling down, let's see if it scrolls down from here. The notifications aren't downloading. Those are also mistakes. What's happening? Look at all this. Another mistake that happens is that we pay for the screen. We block it and it gives us access to enter. So, to be able to enter, we go here to settings. 
Now what we're going to do is go here. It's the last option. And we're going to select this option that says system here. We'll give it to you. In the reset options, we'll select this to reset our entire device. We reset it so that when it is fully restored, we would then have a device free of any errors.